Hello everyone, my name is Disnudes and welcome to my guide to Reaper. In this, we will be going over to the moves, some tips, combos to get you started, and some suggested loadouts. Reaper is a strong class with high defense. Some strengths are high defense, good health, good damage, infinite mana, and two runes for every M2. The weaknesses are they don't have too many moves, every move does cost runes. The M2 is easy to perfect block, and Ruin Root Starving, which I'll get into later. Without further ado, let's get started with the moves. For the moves, I will be counting from the lowest amount of runes to the highest, so we'll, we will be starting with Mirror. For the cost of one rune, you can open a mirror that everyone can walk through, even mobs. Chase. For the cost of two runes, you bring whoever is close to you in front of you. This works on mobs too, so be careful that you actually hit the right person. Hunt. For the cost of 3 rooms, you send out homing orbs at anyone who is on one opponent who was around you. The orbs deal high damage. Soul Burst. I've been told by multiple people uh, ask the room count it takes, so I'm just going to say 8 to 9 rooms. So, for the cost of 8 to 9 runes, you cause a big explosion around you that puts people on fire and disarms them. The damage and radius entirely depend on how many runes you have. Alright, now let's get into some tips. This is the most important thing of it all. Work on not getting rune starved. It will make the class a whole lot harder to play. Because without runes, that none of Reaper's moves will work. Like you can try Soul Burst, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not even gonna get an explosion. This sentence would work with any class, but be sure you're using your moves at the right time. But what points this out with Reaper is that it's important to not waste runes. Like missing is okay, but like just throwing out all your moves, you, you gotta be careful about that. Instead of soul ripping someone, you can M instead M2, press B to grip someone. And when that M2 hits, press B again. This works until you're at max runes, unless you want to keep going forever. Not sure why, but you do you. Mirror is a teleporting move, but you don't have to walk through the mirrors. Instead, you can also use the game pressure off you. For example, if someone's running at you, you can place a mirror in front of you, like away from here or at a high place so that they're gonna take fall damage from it, giving you a chance to charge mana if they didn't let you charge it, or go rune bizarre and place a mirror at them so you can set up for whatever you want like a chase or an ignis, whatever you want to do. Chase hits while ragdolled. Use this to your advantage to hit things like ignis into chase, m2 into chase, nivers into chase, so on. Hunt can be... okay it can lock on but Hunt can be very hard to hit sometimes, since people can just jump up and down to avoid the orbs. This could, however, open for an opportunity to get some runes back or lead into a chase, since Mana Shield stops Hunt, but not Chase. If they are not Mana Shielding, then I suggest that you go for runes. If they are, then I suggest that you chase, because then that's going to hit them out. They can hit, then you can stunlock them so they get hit by uh, an orb. because. Those things hurt. Alright, now for some combos to get you some ideas. M1, M1, M1. Chase. M1, M1, M1. Ignis, Galadus, Tenebris. Chase. M1, M1, M1. This next one is in case you haven't used a room, because the combo is still blockable. M1, M1, M2. Ignis to chase. Ignis Gelidus to never soul burst. Alright, now we're going into the suggested area. This is what I have, but you can do whatever you want to do, because, you know, it's your life. Alright, so first off, I would suggest getting 
Emerald Enchant, and Snap Sahita. For your blessings, you're gonna want Mana Body because of runes, even more defense, and Mana Arm because of runes. You're gonna you're gonna be doing mad damage. And Blood Heart, because remember the thing I told you about the M2? M2 press B. You don't actually have to like go of B, because then you're gonna heal and get two roots. And Blood Heart heals a lot. Alright, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm probably gonna leave some clips blank, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.